What's up guys, Express or Express Design here and I'm back with another tutorial. Now for this tutorial I'll be making this 80s textile. I really enjoyed making this, this is my new desktop wallpaper and I really enjoyed this so I thought maybe I'll make a tutorial of this and how I made this. Um, so you can use it in, an, in a banner or a wallpaper, you can do whatever you want. So the first thing you want to do is just make a, a file size. I just have taken uh, 1080 because it was my skin is 1080 and just have taken that size uh, also i'm using new the new photoshop photoshop 2021 so if you guys haven't updated yet i, I would really recommend updating it it's, it's a some big improvements in my opinion uh, maybe i'll make a video of all the updates that they did but anyways this is now the textile let's just jump right into it the first thing you want to do is just uh find a text i've just taken my japanese um text let me just fill in the background with a black maybe not black maybe a bluish a dark bluish like that Something like that there you go then take your text tool and just type whatever you want you can type a japanese style you can type just a regular name i'm just going to type in uh, express in japanese and the color is going to be uh, bluish that is not it uh, let me change that real quick there you go and this is my text let me just put that in the middle there you go then i'm going to select it again then the the font is this font 851 gkktt i'll put the link in the description like always um going to put them a bit closer like that maybe i'll make it a bit bigger like so okay once you have that just double click on your text style or and make sure you have your layer style opened there you go go to bevel and emboss and the thing you want to have is stroke emboss okay go to smooth put the depth of 100 put size around 100 it matters how big you want your text is soften on two put it on 90 percent angle use global light put the attitude around 60 50 something like that and put the gloss contour on this little uh, hump there you go remove anti uh, alist and put the, put this color on highlight mode just on a the same color of your text and then the shadow mode on a darker color of your text okay once you have that you put a stroke on it you can see now it's happening make the outside of the stroke a bit bigger you see you have little this little effect that i have on the text uh, i think that's nice and if you think maybe that's not nice just change um the size and you can see it's changing in the stroke itself then put a stroke on that stroke um choose how big your text is i'm just going to put it on a six then going to in the shadow and you want to copy this as well again um a um, cyan color or more like a blue color hashtag five um zero d nine e three you can copy that as well put it on normal put your opacity around 70 you see you have little inner blue shadow there you go and then also a drop shadow there you go like something like this i'm going to put the opacity a bit down around 50. there you go and that's the basics of the text so so then after that if you want to duplicate your layer uh remove every style so right click and clear layer style make a new layer take your brush put the brush on black put the hardness on 100 click on this little brush icon and put the spacing on one percent then you just want to go ahead and go ahead with your brush doesn't matter what you want to do then go to filter and then liquify and then we're going to edit that a bit so once here in liquify put the size around 500 or something and just make little humps there you go something like that i'm going to put the size a bit smaller make it a little hump there you go something like that I'm going to put that around here put it, turn that around a bit and put a clipping mask on the text i'm going to edit a bit because i don't like um, the liquify effect so i'm going back to liquify just click with your uh, with your forward warp tool put the pressure on 100 this thing on 50 there you go edit that again i'm going to move that a bit there you go i like that a bit better then i went to the black space that we just make take your brush and erase the bottom part a bit just with the eraser uh, with the eraser you put the hardness on a zero put the size on whatever 
I raise the bottom part a bit. There you go, like so. Then make a new layer, clipping mask again. So like, so just make a new layer between those. There you go. Take a brush, not a big one, like 200 or something like that. Take a brush uh, and take a blue color or whatever color you're working with, something like this, and just brush. Oh, need to change the brush hardness back to it. Hardness to zero. And then just brush on a linear light. Another new layer below everything. Take like a more white brush, make it a bit smaller, like that, and just color in like so. Then take another layer, make another layer, clipping mask. Now take a darker uh, blue, and now do the top. Like so. Also move it to linear light. Maybe also the other one to linear light. I'm going to put the opacity a bit down on the top one. Also, also I want the bottom color, so I'm going to make a new layer above the black that we just that we made and with a brush. I'm going to take a nice cyan color and just the bottom a bit in. There you go. Check linear light. Make the opacity a bit lower. Make a new layer above everything. Uh, take a more another blue color, but a different one as well, like a real bright one. And just put a couple of dots. A real bright blue color. I'll just put a couple of dots um, everywhere. Put it on screen and put the opacity a bit down. There you go. That, those are the basics again. We have basic text now now what you want to do is just select everything that you just did every text that you just did ctrl j so you duplicate everything and then ctrl e so you merged everything then we want to put that below everything go to filter blur uh, radial blur go to zoom put it on a 30 put the quality on good there you go you have something like this now make it a bit smaller by ctrl t and um hold in alt and Make it a bit smaller, like like you just have edited like so. There you go. And now I have like a 3D eff effect, but it's quick and easier, and it has a little nice effect in the back. If you want the effect going on more, you just go ahead and go again. Go to radial blur again and put the zoom amount on a 50 or something, and then you have an even more uh, effect in the back. It's up to you how far you want to go with it i just go 50 is good 30 is good in my opinion anyways make a new layer put a clipping mask on that again with alt go to the brush take a, a, a red color i'm just going to do um, the bottom parts in red just the bottom parts put a, i want to put it on the color and put the opacity a bit down there you go I also want maybe to put a stroke uh, inside, so I'm going to duplicate our text again, put it above everything, double click on it, the bevel, remove the drop shadow, and go to blending options and put the fill opacity on zero, uh, put the stroke on the inside, put the stroke on a white, and make the inside stroke about a one, put the opacity around 60 and they have a little inside stroke that I really like um, then I just did the background a bit make a new layer below everything make the take the brush take a big brush like a 800 or 1000 go to with a thousand I'm going with a nice white color and put it up a spot in the back put it on screen and put it opacity a bit down okay make another layer Take another color, maybe a blue color, and put another spot in the back. Also put that on screen, put the opacity a bit down. We're also going to put a new layer, make the brush a bit smaller, put it on another blue, put a darker blue, there you go. Also put a spot in the middle, also put it on a, a screen, put the opacity a bit down. There you go, that's a little nice effect. 
going on there. The process pack, you can find that link in the description if you want. Find yourself a nice lightning picture in my process pack that you like, maybe this one. Uh, and put it over to your textile. There you go. Put the uh, opacity or the color dodge. You have, you can see, it's a nice effect, nice lightning effect going on. There you go. I'm going to take the brush, make it a bit bigger, put the hardness still on zero, and put the opacity of the brush around an 80. There you go. I'm just going to move those. There you go. I'm going to warp it a bit. I'm going to take another lightning. Take this one again. There you go. This one, put it in. Color dodge again. Yeah, color dodge. There you go. Take your brush again and remove the edges a bit. Let's go to the particles one. You see this little particle in my pack. Just move that. Put it on. Press Ctrl U and change the color to click on colorize and change it to more bluish iteration a bit higher there you go i'm going to put the opacity a bit down we did that go to the particles and look for nice another particle that you like i'm going to take this one as well go over to the process pack and i think those are enough particles in my opinion now go to the lens flare see the first lens flare and the second lens flare put this little uh, lens flare in the middle or something like this press ctrl u click on colorize change the color they go put just blue put it on the blue like this already done it and this this one you just put it on the top there you go now we're getting there we're getting there um we go over back to particles uh lens flares i mean let's take this one and what else and this one okay we'll take those start with this one maybe put them in the bottom like so and put it behind everything like so maybe put them here and take a brush and just make the edges refine the edges the other one i'm going to put that in the middle as well behind everything like so i'm going to refine the edges as well now the other one is a more uh going to put one here and we can duplicate that i'm going to put make it a lot, lot bigger i put one there as well press ctrl u click on the colorize i'm going to make it a purple color like so now the other one as well click on ctrl u colorize also a purple one now we want to merge everything together so select everything like so, hold and shift, go on the top layer, scroll all the way to the bottom layer, Control J everything, Control E everything, so everything is merged. Select your area with the select tool, click on layer via cut by right clicking, and Control J it again, go to filter, camera, raw filter. Uh, this looks a bit different with the new version of Photoshop, but basically the same thing, go to basics, and make it a bit more blue and purple, put the exposure a bit lower, put the contrast a bit higher, but the highlights a bit higher, not too much, and the shadows also a bit lower. Okay, and then just look at whatever. There you go. The texture a bit higher, so you have a more of that texture feeling. Put the clarity a bit higher. There you go. Go to the curve, put the highlights a bit higher, and the lights a bit lower. The darks also a bit lower. The shadows also a bit lower. There you go. Uh, go to calibration. Put the shadows a bit up, put the right. Uh, what, what effect do you want to go more? Like so, the green effect. Blue primary color, this looks pretty nice. You can already see the difference. The color is already popping out way more than before. Just look at the difference. It's already popping out way more in my opinion. It looks already much better. I'm going to merge those two layers. I don't need the bottom one anymore. So Ctrl E to merge. Ctrl J to do it again, go to uh, blur, Gaussian blur, you're going to blur the edges a bit, go to your brush tool, make the brush a bit bigger and erase. So the edges are now blurred out 
but the text is still visible. Okay, merge those two layers. Control J, go to filter, uh, noise, add noise, add around four noise, four noise, four noise. There you go. Copy them again, duplicate it again. Go to filter, camera raw filter again. Presets, uh, where are my presets? There we go. Vintage, it's a really nice uh, preset for this effect. Warm shadows, really nice in my opinion. Cool matte, really nice one. I want to see the difference. Cool matte, aged, oh, not warm moody. There's a lot of nice ones. I'm gonna go with cool shadows and warm highlights. And just look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful in my opinion. That's that's a banger wallpaper. A, maybe a banger um, banner or header for someone. That's, uh, just copy it again. Double click and we go to the RGB channels. RGB channels, remove G and B. So we only have the R, the red color, and move the upper layer a bit to the right. And you have this little glitch effect. Now that is it. That is all that I did. I did some more effects. I just put some more uh, effects on there. And, but this is basically what I've done with the text effect. I really, uh, really think this is one of the best things I made in a while. I really hope you enjoyed this as well. If you want maybe to download this text effect, uh, we need to hit at least 100 likes on this video. And I'll maybe release it. Everything that I used in this video is available on my store the process pack is free on there that you can use whenever you like yeah thank you guys for watching leave a like do more if you want and i'll see you guys in the next one peace